host, Norman Sanzo. Joining me today is James. Hello, everyone. How are you doing, man? Um, good. Uh, are we reviewing? Are we doing the news? What are we doing today, Norman? We are reviewing, but before I go on, also joining us today is Silver Quill. I've been to a high school reunion. Everyone was balding, including me. <laughs> oh, no. And also joining us is Sapphire Heart Song. I will never go away, no matter how much you make me try or some crap like that. I don't know, I'm tired. We can try hard enough. Somebody get me my dang cereal. Norman, get on with it, peasant out character hosting. No! <laughs> we, we demand Fruit Loops. No, I'm gonna give you brands. I don't know what's that called. Raisin brand or whatever it is. And you're gonna enjoy it. Reese's Pieces. <laughs> I'll take I'll take oats and honey with honey clusters and stuff. Uh, I'll stop talking about food. I haven't eaten anything <laughs> yet today. My god. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, no. Making I me shall... suffer, why don't you? <laughs> I shall have sweet ambrosia bait in the blood of my enemies. <laughs> oh, wow. That's violent. With a lime. lime I'll twist. take that with I'll take that in cocktail form. Lime juice is good. Later. So anyway, uh, we're going to review the 18th issue of My Little Pony Friends Forever, written by Christina Rice and art by Jay Foskett and colored by Heather Breckel. So the synopsis of the story is Rainbow Dash and Fluttershy receives a letter from Cloudsdale, specifically their old flight camp for a high camp school reunion, something like that, was it? Uh, junior fl- junior flysters uh, re- uh, school reunions like the the flying camp that we saw in 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 flashback in several episodes and hijinks ensue. Uh, so how do we approach this one? I mean, we can approach this scene by scene, or we can approach it by themes. What do you guys want to go for? I, I think it's rather simplistic. I say we could go scene by scene. All right. What about you? What about you, Silva? It is very simplified, but in a way that. I, I'll go scene by scene as well. Uh, there are big themes to talk about, but in truth, they're all condensed into specific scenes anyway. Mm, all right, then. All right, then. So as you people at home may notice, I'm driving this time. Ay, the last time we did this, it didn't end well. Oh, come no. on, sir. You did just well, fine. They'll, yeah. They'll never find the bodies. <laughs> Dang it. Uh, anyway... We, um, well, spoilers are hit, so stop now and read and then join us later, or just don't care and run through. Actually, before we get too far in, I, I, I need to ask uh, Sapphire Heart Song a question. Oh, God. Who do you know that you got on the cover of this comic? What? Look at the cover of... Okay, I'm waiting for the PDF to load. <laughs> oh, my God, you're right. You're there. <laughs> Where am I? I don't... I, You're well, there I on the on the, on the on the on the uh members of honor or something. You're there. Oh my god! Oh my god! <laughs> I see it. <laughs> most, well, that's most not popular. me. That's oh god. <laughs> You're um, under a pseudonym. Oh my so god! Cle- oh my. <laughs> so clearly, you have connections. Did you not see my video with Ty and Daga? Everybody copies me. <laughs> Everybody, except for the fact that I have the oversized. Alicornish bird wings, the princessy wings. Uh, oh, please, please! I've seen spoilers. <laughs> your, your wings oh. ain't nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Did you just Ma- snap your fingers at me? That's not a word. But anyway, uh, first impressions. We need to have that. So, going by reverse alphabetical order, that would go for. Wow, uh, reverse alphabetical order. Yeah, silver. Sorry, I- I'm derpy with that. So, silver. What do you think, man? Well, I'm still waiting for an answer on how Sapphire got herself on the cover. <laughs> All right, so I'm basically... too fabulous, darling. I'm I'm fabulous enough. Exactly. So this tale, uh, not a lot happens uh, in the first act. We we saw a lot of this in Hurricane Fluttershy. Fluttershy being bullied. Fluttershy not having fond memories of camp at all. I will say, I remember that episode. Their instructors are complete idiots. Mm-hmm. They're, here, kid, learn to fly. I'll just push you right off. Meanwhile, Rainbow was the champion. So it is a nice contrast between the Pegasi to see who one remembers this so fondly as like her golden age and one who just remembers nothing but pain. 
And without going into spoilers, I like the reversal of their relationship and the school at the end. So very, very heartfelt and something you, you can almost hope in real life. I was teased, bullied a lot in uh, middle school. Oh God, and I know that feeling. So it's a, it's a terrible feeling to, to have to go into enemy territory every day and feel like you got no one on your side. Now I have not bumped into my alumni since then. And truthfully, the only thing I wish is that I never see them again, but I would hope people would grow out of that phase would become better people you know just hope that people change otherwise we're all doomed true that true that and sapphire what about you for me i'm kind of in the same boat as silver throughout my thoughts of the comics i was in fluttershy's shoes the whole time especially when i thought about like middle school because back then believe it or not i used to get in trouble a lot like I do not have good memories of middle school. Um, I'm going to uh, avoid personal stuff. I'll probably tell you later if you ask. But I know that feeling of, like, seeing some old memories pop up when you're forced to go somewhere, whatever, that you don't want to go back to. And then you have to face them and only think the worst. Like, at the part of it where Fluttershy was imagining herself going on stage only get dropped in rainbow goop. I know that fear I know that fear of terror. But in a way, once you grow out of that and actually see that some people do change, some people don't, it's not as bad as it used to be. Other than that, the only Thing I had a problem with the comic was the art style. Then again, I'm not a regular comic reader. So, let's just say I thought Rainbow Dash and Fluttershy were fillies. That's the problem with Jay Forget's art. I won't say that's a problem. I would just say that's his style. It takes it's a while too to get you- The heads are it, it, oversized. It takes, it takes a while to get used to his art style. I'm not saying that it's bad uh, either. I'm just saying that. It takes you like three or four pages to get used to the way that he draws. Let, let's just put this near the end where we have our final thoughts on everything. Because honestly, uh, for us three, we already mentioned about the art style and we kind of grew, grew, um, we, we kind of Fondly? grew on it. Like it, it grew I'm on us. I'm, I'm not entirely sure. It grows on you as you're reading it. Really? I kind of like yeah, it. Yeah. I noticed that while I was reading it, but uh, it but still then... felt kind of weird. But then, just wait until Jay Fosca draws Princess Celestia. Oh, yeah, it will yeah, break yeah. your mind. Okay, that, that's another okay, review I'm for another look day. I'm that up right now. I I'm haven't read that, that comic right yet. I mm-hmm. haven't read that comic. I have it on my comicsology. It's still marked as, uh, as unread. I haven't read it yet. I have so much to catch up with. Anyway, anyway. That's for another day. Uh, next person, James. I'm going to just say right away, because we're taking forever on the first impression, so I'm just going to say right away, I'm not a big fan of this comic. Uh, I'm not a big fan of this comic at all. To me, it's one of those comics that it feels stagnated, stuck, and that it doesn't progress anything. Now, I've been told and I've been criticized on the lovely section of comments on YouTube <laughs> that I am way too critical with the comic books, way more critical than I am with the TV show. The reason why I am so critical is because the TV show is more safe while the comics are more experimental. And to be perfectly honest, this comic doesn't experiment at all. This comic feels too safe, it feels too self-contained, and it doesn't feel like it goes out of its way to do anything new or anything special. Like, say what you want about Siege of the Crystal Empire, at least that comic tried something new. This one, however, I don't say it tried many things. In fact, I pretty much despise a couple of scenes in it for the fact that, oh my god, we cannot move away from the bully stereotype now, can we? Like what you were talking about, Silver, that people grow out of the way that they are in high school, the way that they behave. The, it, because we are looking at these characters that are already grown-ups, it is clear that when they go to Cloudsdale, they are all grown-ups. The bullies still behave like bullies. No! You don't do that! So, uh, there are a few other scenes in it that really grind my gears, but we'll get to that when we get to that. So yeah, not a big fan of this one. Sorry, I'm gonna be the voice of this, uh, of dissent on this, uh, all right, all right. on this review. Next person. Silver. You! 
Um, Norman, I, it's your turn. I'm Norman, hosting. It's you. I, I host. I can do. I can change positions. I'm gonna go last. Silver. Right. But I already gave my impression. Wait, what? Killed the- yeah. Oh, God. We oh, my God, Norman. We alphabetical order. <laughs> okay, that's it. On the next comic, I take the wheel. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, yeah, for me. <laughs> yeah, you. Uh, I don't have to edit this out, dude. Seriously. No, I'm mean, just going to leave it in. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, me. All righty, then. So, I like this comic. I do like J. Fosgate's art style. It's cute i do like how it looks the story is well cliche at best it does kind of drags on but we're talking about fluttershy here and fluttershy has a lot of fears it does feel a bit like uh what's that episode uh scare master but this is on a whole nother level where this is not ridiculous this is kind of um plausible and logical for her She's scared because, well, we'll soon find out. So, I like it. I reread it and I like it. I like the ending. But, uh, let's jump into the reviews. If you haven't read it, now is the time to pause the video, read it, and come back. Oh, by the way, I looked up Jay Foskett's uh, style of drawing Princess Celestia. Yeah, Silver's right. <laughs> Silver's always right. How did I, how did I not know? <laughs> oh, could you say that again, but more slowly? I Gladly. Want to get a t- I want to get a Silver t- is always right. <laughs> oh, that's the stuff. Okay. And... Did you have an orgasm? <laughs> but I had a tumbler of brandy and now my my day is complete. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> anyway, let's start. So we start off with our heroine, Rainbow Dash, trying to beat her own speed record with Fluttershy and Angel Bunny keeping track of time. Till a male mare, not derpy, comes in and delivers a letter to Rainbow Dash and Fluttershy for a high school reunion thingy. Angel is huge. Right? Angel is massive. Look, I think that's a ma- male stallion. And the only reason I, I say that is because his schnoz is twice as big as those of the uh, mares. Uh, yeah, that, that's Fosky's style. But yes, Angel's huge, and in typical references to Alice in Wonderland, which, which happens a lot with him, uh, oh. he's holding the stopwatch. Is he late for a very important date? Um, wasting my time, probably. <laughs> well, especially with his... Foot tapping. Of course, he's late for something and wants to get on with it. Perhaps well, it just means that it's time for lunch and he's hungry. And Flatosha, give me food now. Yeah, that could be true. That could be true. You, human, feed me now. <laughs> feed me. More now. like you, pony. Feed me. Feed me now. <laughs> uh, That's how all pets react to us now, though. Yeah. So yeah. But anyway, uh, next page we see that Rainbow Dash is ready to head off to Cloudsdale. And Fatish is just not having fun. Rainbow Dash uh, retells her account of her past achievements with the Sonic Rain Boom, with the Rain Boom at the Crystal Empire, and her glorious moment where she had to pick a side between the Cloudsdale Flyers or the Ponyville Flyer for the Equestrian Games. I don't remember that as a, I don't remember it's that a as a moment of glory. Well. It's kind of Rainbow Dash to t- retell the story when she gets to meet all of her high school buddies saying, Oh, you, do you remember the time where, or do you want to hear the time that I created a Sonic Rainbow? Or do you remember the time where Princess Celestia personally asked me to create a Sonic Rainbow? Or, no. This, this part of the comic is just Rainbow Dash season one mentality. It's, I'm the best, I'm the best, I'm the best, I'm the awesomeness, I'm the best. This is not the Rainbow Dash from season three and uh, three, four and five. I can't see her doing this because it's kind of reliving the glory days. When you go back to high school or anything in between, something like that, you want to meet up with old buddies, they want to know what have you been doing. And for Rainbow Dash, she's kind of a celebrity. So Yeah, but usually with Fluttershy around, Rainbow Dash has become more self-aware of that. Her boasting makes Fluttershy's insecurity flourish. So that's... Perhaps the moment where I'm like, oh, Dash, what are you doing? You're not helping. Rainbow still gets caught up in her own excitement, and she has done exceptional things. Oh, uh, yes. Oh, so, 
but it's also but I do like that she also wises up very quickly uh when she sees that Fluttershy's not even packed. Plus it may have something to do with that strange strand of grass growing in her eye. <laughs> yeah. I just realized that now and I was wondering, what is that and could that be an eyelash? That is one freaky eyelash. That I, That is a that is a weird and inking error. Yep. Yes. Wait. I, where? Uh let's see here. Where it upper Final right. Two of page seven. Um those two oh lines on Rainbow Dash. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, Rainbow Dash, not Fluttershy. Uh, oh. Yeah. Yeah, that's strange. But we get here. Well, uh, in this page here, we see that Rainbow Dash says that okay, she'll stick with Fluttershy and try and protect her at points and try to give her support. And I think. Fluttershy says, like, you're not going to make me go. I'm I'm set in my ways. Next page. Yep, light camp. But for what it's worth, the uh, panel five on page seven, where she says, I've made up my mind and I'm not going. That is really well drawn in my eyes. I mean, it really conveys. Oh, yes. It really conveys how, how deeply this hurts Fluttershy. And then the next page, they ruin it by making her go anyway. Hey, it's one of those scenes. Even though it's well established that she doesn't want to go. <sighs> I did. I don't know how you talked me into this. Oi, that's like that's. I don't yeah. mind it. It's kind of logical for me. And we see the our flyers head off to flight camp, and Rainbow Dash is greeted with awesome applause. And right out of the gate, we see the two bullies. I got no idea who their name is. Oh, I was... score and something else. Score hoops and. Yeah. There's a third one, but I don't know where Madden? it is. All, all I know is, when well, your name is Score, you can bet you're going to try to be the alpha male for the rest of your life. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, well. I just scored again. <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah, although, but the, like, it's, the, the, their attitudes remain the same. And the way they are drawn, uh, you although, don't want to pass these characters are likable, no, can't, no, do you? Mm. Although, um... I gotta say, like, when it came to, like, the transition from Fluttershy not going to the flight camp scene the next page, I can imagine Rainbow Dash, Rainbow Dash, Rainbow Dash crying and whining, like, in between those two time periods. Like, but I wanna go with you! No, God, please, with me! And then pulls out the eyes from, what is it, a uh, trade yet? <laughs> yeah. Uh, probably. But anywho, like James says earlier, our two bullies here never change. And they want to race against Rainbow Dash, thinking that they've gotten better. They've gotten better definitely after Dash <laughs> demonstrated that she's the best at doing a sounding rainbow. They stop calling her Rainbow Crash, even though in this comic what, that is one of the first things they do, they start calling her Rainbow Crash. For a moment I thought that this was all part of the con for like the end of the comic that this was gonna pay off that we were gonna be like oh no we were just like you know playing up playing it up we are not really this way we we changed like but no no they are straight up like this no <sighs> that, that, like, why don't overthink it man don't overthink nobody, it nobody nobody don't overthink it nobody bothered to watch uh, Sonic Rainbow perhaps one of the most popular episodes of season one and say they don't call her Rainbow Crash anymore. Why do they have to do that? That is where I start smelling the stagnation. It's like... It could mm, be just mm, silly banter not, between not friends. Good, James, I'm sorry. Why are you going around sniffing guys? Oh, <laughs> oh the, no, you, don't, you don't know what the, I mean, dude. Shut up. The stagnation. <laughs> Shut up. I, I, I have a date with Ty and Daga later. You don't know. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, my. <laughs> and the shipping intensifies. Sapphire, get on it. Huh? Wait, what? There are movies that be high. But, but I have, I have enough commissions to do and I'm still working on your tail cards and uh -huh. I have, and I have to draw Firebrand in a suit. <laughs> and then I have to draw Toon Crick in the suit. And well, then well. I have to draw Silver Quill in a suit. So I'm kind of busy. I'm sorry. Well, this, this isn't a commission. This is a decree. <laughs> Okay. This is that we yes, all need. yes, your highness. Me. Even though you're supposed to be my pet, dang it. Uh, yeah, just, yeah. Just, just you're officially have... my self-proclaimed pet. Oh my! 
Uh, yeah, yeah. Just Mine. just just try not to just try not to picture movie slate sniffing through an entire stag <laughs> nation. <laughs> anyway, well, lucky for you, Dun- I'm a dumb sh- blonde, Dun- so Dun- I don't know what a stag nation is. Ay, ay, ay. Okay, okay. Don't okay. explain it to me. Okay, as we <laughs> witness, Norman, Rain- you're losing control of it. I know. I'm trying to get it back. <laughs> as we witness Rainbow Dash fly off with that race, we see panel by panel that she is kicking the butt out of those two, and Fluttershy is left behind with her insecurities. Suddenly, Circus Cloud, was it? Serious. Oh, yeah. Cirrus. 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 Cirrus Cloud. Cirrus. Although she does look like a clown, though. <laughs> I, oh my. I, first time I read this, I thought it said Citrus Cloud. Yeah, that was, that was, yeah same here. I thought, you said, I thought you said Circus Clown. <laughs> I, well, <laughs> the, the punk look is definitely making her appear silly. Yeah. Yeah. But oh, yeah. I like the eyelashes. The piercings, not so much, but I like the eyelashes. Although I want her wings. Yeah, but it looks more like mascara than eyelash. Yeah. Than eyelash. Oh yeah. But anyway, it's definitely mascara. It, it's oh no, oh, no, wait a minute. I got Actually, it. Actually, she's no. one of she's the she's the writer's uh, the writer's on OC. <laughs> Actually, that's more like a eyeliner, like liquid eyeliner that you draw on around your eye. That's more like it. That that's that's look like it. Though. Look at the amount of elements in that one. Oof. I know. Oh my god. But well, anyway, trying to get back control. Can I can I cue the? Sorry. <laughs> uh, getting back control. We get a flashback where Satishai and her were not good friends. Yeah, that's just no. Well, Fluttershy was bullied by everybody, and. Meanwhile, I'm just looking. It's like, who brings stinky cheese as a obstacle course? Thank you. Like, that's no. That's like, that's no good. Uh. <laughs> that's no good. Uh. No. Uh, that's just that just stinks. Like. <laughs> that's how lazy Norman. I love you, people. I love you, people already, mostly because I love puns. <laughs> oh, actually, you're gonna fit. You're gonna fit in well here. We'll. We don't try to break the mold. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, but anyway, we see that, um, I'm just gonna call her Cloud because I got no idea how to say that word. Cyrus. 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 Cyrus, okay. So. I don't know. I'm just <laughs> I'm thinking of. Yeah, I'm just gonna call her Cloud. That's a mystery to everyone okay, how you fine. pronounce that. You word. can call her Cloud. Yeah. Cloud here is. Cloud. Cloud. I just call her Punk Pony. <laughs> We... Punk pony who covers up her cutie mark a lot. Mm, probably. I I think I'll call her um crawling in my skin pony. <laughs> yeah, but anywho, Cloud here has <laughs> a special surprise for such a shiny pony. <laughs> I'm losing control, and I. You never had control to begin with, Norman. I know, and you guys wanted me to drive this. <sighs> I'm. St- <laughs> But anyway, Cloud says that she has a surprise for Fluttershy at the end of the ceremony, and yeah, that got Fluttershy really worried, really, really worried and paranoid. Well, when you can you blame someone... her? Never. Yeah, when you don't tell someone that what the surprise is in particular, and they have a history of oh, every surprise that has happened to me ended up uh, ended up being a disaster. <laughs> true that. True that. Yeah. Especially with that one look in her eye, like, you're going to get it. <laughs> uh, r- r- right on cue with the with the reference to Kari. <laughs> uh, but anyway, um, Rainbow Dash comes in saying that, ah, she's, I'm awesome. And isn't that Cloud? Huh. So the child explains that she's scared. Cloud here was one of the meanest ponies she knew in flight camp. And she said that she has a surprise for me. I'm scared. Rainbow Dash, protect me. And cue in cute little fillies with a Spitfire. A callback to issue 12. Yay. She's, she's issue done a lot 12. Mm-hmm. No, no, not number. issue 12. Can we, can we just keep uh, keep with this uh, group of characters on Spitfire? Can we actually just read issue number 12, please? <laughs> no, we've yeah. done that. No. Oh. Well, oh. at least... Although this is kind of weird. This this comic is implying that Spitfire was in high uh, flight camp with them. Yeah. I was... I've always gotten the impression that Spitfire is at least a little bit older than Rainbow Dash. Maybe she yeah, was a couple of I've maybe she that... was a couple of years older. Maybe she was a couple of like uh, degrees bef- uh, above them. She could be an alumni, like an older uh, alumni of the camp. 
that could be possible. Or maybe she kept failing year after year, so she couldn't progress. She got stuck in the second in the second grade. All. No. But you don't know. Maybe she was bad at math. But anyway, we get to see Rainbow Dash interacting with Sweetfire, and yeah, they're having a good time. And Rainbow Dash totally forgets Fluttershy all over again. Like when it comes to Rainbow Dash, like with her glory days, I think it would be. A fun plot development if that didn't happen with Fl- with uh, Rainbow Dash. Like, what if she wasn't as great as she thought she was? That would be fun. That would be a fun comic. That's but a fun headcanon. Her like universe instead. would implode. But anyway, uh, as we move on, we see that a lot of other ponies are acting strange around Fluttershy. Like, they're keeping something. Like, they're keeping a secret. And Fluttershy starts to get paranoid. And thoughts of Carrie pops into her head with her, <laughs> with Cloud being there to make it all happen by dumping. Best part of the comic. <laughs> Although, I'm thankful that the guy who did, um, Shed.mov didn't get hold of this. Uh, that, that was done way back when, like, the... I know, no, that I was, know. yeah, that, yeah, though it's, it it's feels sort of like of a funny. Shed. Mav reference, though. The fact Except that instead they both of... went with the same character, yeah. <laughs> Except instead of um, blood, yeah, blood, it's rainbow. Instead of... Yeah. Yeah. But anyway, uh, with that paranoia in her head, she starts running and running and running until she hits the lightning or thunder factory. It's basically your classic Fluttershy freakout that the fear is upon her and she's really buckling under the pressure, much like we saw in uh, Philly Vanilli, except without Philly Van- the, without Philly the Vanilli, hor- Hurricane Fluttershy as well. Except without the horrifying <laughs> eye montage. Oh, yeah, true that. Oh, yeah. Yeah, but at least now here we get something where the male pony here is saying that uh, you can't be in here without a hard hat. But they're kind of thinking, like, does she know our secret plan? You told her you had a surprise. Yes, she knows your secret plan. You told her. I mean, it's no longer a fully secret plan. It's a mildly confusing plan. Still, I mean, does she know the secret, not the plan? She knows about the plan, but does she know the meaning behind the plan? Uh... I, actually, now that I think about that, would be a great supervillain thing. Yeah, none of you can stop my mildly confusing plan. I shall transform <laughs> all the world's hamburgers into rubber chickens. <laughs> That's a fun giveaway. No more burgers. <laughs> you know what? For some reason, I can imagine you actually living a rubber chicken as, as your signature after every Luna, crime. Luna, hold me. Hold me. Save me from the bird man. Yeah. He's about to take all... And then he turned into papyrus. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. But anywho, Fluttershy meets up with Rainbow Dash again, and when Fluttershy tries to talk to Rainbow Dash about her fears, Rainbow Dash doesn't really want to listen, and forces her to the reunion party. Yay! Well, well, the the fact that Rainbow commands the ponies spiriting her around, oh yeah, grab Fluttershy. What? <laughs> you got wings, girl. You, you fly your own self. I am the great and powerful Rainbow Dash. I don't need wings. <laughs> uh, but anywho, once they're at the table at the party, Fluttershy ducks down on the table, and I love this heartfelt moment between Rainbow Dash and Fluttershy, where Fluttershy just expresses her feelings, and Rainbow Dash says sorry and tries to understand. Huh? This is probably my favorite scene for Rainbow in this comic, where she recognizes Fluttershy's accomplishments herself, even as other members of, uh, even as the speakers are recognizing Fluttershy. Mm-hmm. She just can't rec- She just can't realize it yet. Yeah, but I think the reason for that is her fear of the past. Because her in this situation right now, her past is dominating her logical thinking where these people were mean to me and I don't want that to happen because I just witnessed Rainbow Dash just raise two bullies. They never change. And Cloud here, she's in her mind. She's not changing. Like, I'm scared. What could they do to me? And with the reassurance from Rainbow Dash, she goes up on stage and Cloud says she's sorry for all the mean things she done before and awards her with, um, what's this? 
this is a strange award for camp alumni we are most proud of. Yes. Yeah, they, they, we are most proud of. Like, um, my, my, I... my, my, might as well call it. Might as well call it. We're very sorry for what we did, we did to you in high school. Please don't kill us when you become a psycho killer. It's like, it's like, don't turn into Chef Dot Mob. Don't don't turn don't turn into into the Fluttershy from Smile HD, please. Uh, yeah, yeah. Or Chef Dot like, Mob. Oh my God, this is so lame. Call me cynical. Call me a cynical well, all you want. This is so lame. Cynical, yes, but I think the one that bothers me the most is the title of the trophy. It's not easy to say. Well, we are, let me we are most proud down. of. We are super proud of you, Fratershai. Even you, you, even though you haven't done anything and your character hasn't been progressed in like three seasons until season five, and it was oh. only a smidge. Hey, I think oh. she. Amigo, I will, I will, I will contest you on that, sir. Hmm. Oh. I think she's grown Please. immensely over the seasons. She'll always be, she will always contend with shyness. But look at how much she's been pushing herself to grow further. Uh, Hurricane Fluttershy in particular, she's no longer content to just avoid trouble. She wants to push herself now. Uh, she wants to step outside her comfort zone more. Even here in this comic, uh, when they realize, hey, Fluttershy, you're being called up on stage. She she decides yeah I want to go face I want to go face my fear, and that's what makes me enjoy her. She ne- she's afraid. She admits it. She's fully open about her fears, maybe a little too open at times. When push comes to shove, she will go out there and and give it her best shot. Now, okay, alumni we are most proud of may sound like a pity title. It is the gesture of respect that stands out to me. The fact they're they're owning up to their own. Uh, misdeeds of the past and to let you know for all the grief we gave you we are proud of how far you've come since the shy Philly we once knew and I think that yeah. just the gesture of respect carries a lot of weight mm-hmm. yeah but this is the same story that Fluttershy has had in every single story focused on her in every chapter in every comic it's always oh I am in my comfort zone oh I'm gonna get out of my comfort zone great in the next story, I'm gonna be on my comfort zone again, and then I'm gonna get out of my comfort zone again. It's like, it's, it's, it's well, always it's the never, same. It's a never ending battle. I mean, I've given Fluttershy the same type of grief, but at the same time, I understand trying to get out of your comfort zone isn't always easy. I mean, yeah. sure, you backtrack a bit to your earlier stages, but it happens. Yeah, it, it is true, but sooner or later, something happens in your life that will make you get out of your comfort zone completely and will make you a bit more brave. It will make you a bit more bold. It will, it will remove that part of, that part that makes you feel afraid of everything, or at least it, it, it will, it will cause a change in your life. Fluttershy has had so many, so many moments in the show, like confronting a dragon, cre- uh, helping create a tornado. Uh, facing her fears in Nightmare Night. Reforming the escort. It's like, come on! What else do you want? Are you going to have to invent a cure for cancer or something? What is going to be in, in your life that will make you change for good? Coming okay. in season six. Fluttershy cures pony cancer. <laughs> do you know what I mean though? You know what I'm going with this is that sooner or later she's gonna have to finally step away from her comfort zone and actually become right. more bold. Alright, guys, guys, guys. Well, part of the review is done. So I think we should go for final thoughts, right? Well, I, Actually, I, I never got to my um thing like in between the interaction with uh, Flareshy and Rainbow Dash, but I guess I'll save that for final thoughts. I do, I, I do just want to point out one thing, though. All I got to say on the Flareshy thing. How many episodes have we had where Rainbow Dash's ego gets the better of her? Where Applejack is being stubborn and not accepting help? Where uh, Twilight is going by the book too much? All these Many. characters, yeah. yes, all these characters contend with recurring character weaknesses because that is part of who they are. Yeah, maybe, uh, but Rainbow Dash started to write, to like books, reading, and become a bit more humble. Twilight became a princess. Pinkie Pie became a bit more level-headed. Uh, wait, and a stopped, like, wait a minute, wait a minute, No, James. The, no, the, the Pinkie Pie season one is unbearable. Pinkie Pie on the previous season, get, previous seasons gets a bit less manic, even though okay. a bit more, like, visually unhinged. James? Fluttershy is always in the same spot. James? Tell me. I have to ask you this one question. 
Ask what does reading books have to do with Rainbow Dash's ego? What do you mean? Like, you're saying, like, well, Rainbow Dash started reading more books. What does that have to do with her ego? Uh, no, I'm not saying that she has overcome her ego. None of those characters has overcome what you guys said. Of course, Rainbow Dash is still, uh, still has a massive ego. Of course, Twilight still goes by the book. But they have more things to them now. It seems like Fluttershy only has her shyness and her insecurity as a character trait. Oh, uh, and I get tired now, of seeing Now, Fluttershy also in. likes to read books. She has a book club with her animal friends. That is true. So, something huh. that was in, something that was introduced two episodes before the end of season five. I don't know about I don't the book club until Fluttershy then. that much, but I am willing to defend her in this case because I like to argue. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's perfect. That's perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine, but call me a stick in the mud, but Okay, you can call me whatever you guys want. I don't care. I'm tired of seeing the, the exact same storyline happen with this character. I want them to do something new that doesn't depend on her shyness or her fears. Here's the thing, too. I mean, Fatasha may have one of those one-track problems where she's shy or very afraid of, but she has gotten better with time. We do see her... Well, we don't see her attending that... Uh, me- while meeting or oh, that thing where she went to see the breezies quote unquote in season 4 where Discord came along are you talking about oh. three a crowd yeah three a crowd goes yeah. To the breezies? yeah so that's one of those things where think about it previous Fluttershy would not go previous Fluttershy would just stay home just because I don't want to go maybe there's danger I don't think so, because she's going to see the breezes. How dangerous are going to be something that is like one-tenth of her actual size? Well, there might be a I wild think that's bear. Something she'd feel, I, I, I'm really sure that she... Oh, yeah, wild bears that she can wrestle down to the ground. Uh-huh. But she'd also have, she also had to talk to the equestrian council to get permission, mm-hmm. which means interacting with other ponies. <gasps> yeah, that's scary for people like Fluttershy. Here, here's the thing. Really. I, uh, it is. For a long time, she didn't. She couldn't even talk to Twilight when they first. So, met. Okay, hang on a minute. Are you guys get, uh, getting on my side of the argument, or are you still trying to convince me otherwise? Oh no, we're not. We're, we're, not we're not trying to convince we're not you. We're trying to convince you. I'm simply saying I, that Fluttershy has had to confront a variety of challenges. Her fear or social awkwardness will always be her Achilles heel. Which horses have heels, right? Mm. I, I can't tell. I guess. Yeah. I think uh, they do. Yeah. Her Achilles hoof. <laughs> so that will always be a factor. Just, that, but I've I've seen a lot of diversity in her episodes by what she's had to confront. Mm-hmm. So it doesn't bother me as much if her fear is always a factor. For example, I'm still afraid to talk to a silver quill, even though I met him two weeks ago. <laughs> Yeah. We also see that Fluttershy made a new friend, Tree Hugger. Previous Fluttershy would just be scared of meeting new people. Well, you don't, you don't know the circumstances in which, in which uh, they became friends. They made breezies. They talked. Although, I think they bonded by the fact that Tree Hugger totally helped her find a way to relax, man. <laughs> uh-huh. and she's very into trees, which Fluttershy wants to be one. Ay, ay, ay. Yeah. But still, um, but still, I, I don't, I do not agree with what you say, James. That Fluttershy is a one-track pony uh, with one problem. Uh, I, uh, I don't care if you don't. No, I'm just saying. I'm just stating it out. I'm just stating it out. I'm, 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 Does I'm, she I'm only got bit, one song? It's that I'm a bit annoyed that yeah, it is true. Every conflict is different from from each one, but it, it's always the same. It's always the, it's always be afraid of something. It's social insecurity. It's the the, the variety. Is the spice of life. You're not giving me any spice here. That, that's why I said this is so, uh, stagnant. This is so, uh, stag- this is so stagnant. This is so, uh, no, safe. It doesn't get out of the usual boundaries of the, of, 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 of the character. It doesn't do anything new with it. All right. Okay. Yeah. So I, I think, uh, we should. Final thoughts. Yeah. Final I thoughts. Think, yeah. Yeah. So we should go for final thoughts. And Silver, you go first, man. How could they botch a rainbow? <laughs> I mean, that last page. I know. This is this is a weather factory, and they forget blue and violet are in a rainbow. They forget that. Red, I know. orange, yellow, green. What the <laughs> hey? 
Perhaps after Rainbow Dust have attached the entire factory in tanks for the memories, they they were they were unable to get any this, of the other colors back. This was before Tanks for the Memories. They took away my favorite colors. <laughs> no, no, this was after Tanks for I the Memories. I saw your man. favorite colors. Yay! Wow. Zero out of ten, worst comic ever, but Fluttershy is still awesome. Uh, Norman, okay. this is after Tanks for the Memories. Really now? All right. Yes. <laughs> okay. <Yeah>. Hit cannon. <laughs> Well, either way, I, I, I enjoyed this comic mostly for the ending. Mm-hmm. The middle is the things are happening. Rainbow says, oh, I'll, I'll pack you up, and she's gone for 90% of the comic. <laughs> That's one of the things that moves uh, Friends Forever comics into the middle of this road territory. The idea of a Friends Forever is that it's two characters tackling the same issue and, and showing their best and worst in doing so. And forming a bond. This one, it's Fluttershy for pretty much the whole comic, with a few appearances by Rainbow Dash. Now, thankfully, when Rainbow starts saying, you know, you, you've done amazing things. You became friends with Discord. Uh, you've been able to do things the rest of us can't do, like taming a dragon, getting a minotaur to back down. Actually, Fluttershy, mythical creature conqueror. But, uh, I'm next in line. to be conquered? Oh my. <laughs> oh my. No, I but, mean, I don't know why. <laughs> I title wise. <laughs> <laughs> title but, was. But uh, this, it does celebrate Flush Eye. It does show Rainbow's respect for her. I'm just sorry that all of this happens within the last three pages, really. Mm-hmm. And that they screw up a rainbow. <laughs> yeah! Ay, caramba. Uh, Safari, what about you? I'm on the same boat as Silver. Like, Rainbow Dash infuriated me somewhat throughout the comic, but that was only during the beginning and middle, where it was her being her, it's all about me, me, me. But that moment at the end where she was actually trying to comfort Fluttershy and trying to encourage her, I remember when I was first reading this comic, it had um reminded me of this moments that had recently happened to me, like, one day during college. My, this is going to get heavy, I'm just going to warn you guys now, um, my aunt had passed in early December, or, of last year. And I had this quote-unquote friend who was sort of like Rainbow Dash, like, like, before I had gone into, like, this art history class I was in, like, I'd get there, like, an hour early because, well, I'm an early bird when it comes to getting to class. And she was sitting there, like, going on about, like, Danganronpa or whatever, like, anime stuff, total weeaboo. And then there's me who was just sitting there as a blank slate. She had eventually noticed it once she got her head out of her That's not a word! But... It was just one of the most touching moments that had ever happened to me, considering, well, she was, like, all about me, 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 and to see Rainbow Dash sort of act like this towards Fluttershy just brought me back and made me smile. And, well, other than that moment that really struck with me, um, there were, like, I sort of grew into the art style, like, going into it, I'm also mad that they didn't have my colors. Ugh. <laughs> but it brought me back to a lot of memories. And considering that Fluttershy is my se- second least favorite character as of recently, she used to be my least favorite, um, I like this comic. I really do. It pleasantly surprised me with its relations. And, yeah. Sorry. I apologize for, you know, well, it was good. It was personal. good. It was good. And James, what about you, man? Do, do you really want me to give Tolkien? <laughs> well, if... Okay. I, I am... I am Actually, that thumbs... is a good question. <laughs> I, I'm feeling the thumbs down from the time of... from the from this uh, dimension of time and space coming on the video. Yes, for me speaking. Uh, you would be surprised <laughs> on how many people did not like uh, the main attraction People don't like that, and I'm surprised. So you're talking about the episode or the review? The episode. Wow. I know. 
there are people who didn't like the main attraction. Yeah. How get out your people have opi- and get out your torches. Yeah, how do people have window. opinions? <laughs> yeah, how so... do people have thoughts about what about so, things they don't like? How dare yeah, they? So here's, so here's your chance to, well, uh, express your opinion on this comic. Like, everybody has a say. You're wrong, but you still have a say. <laughs> Shut <laughs> up, Sapphire. <laughs> Final thoughts. It's, like I said, stagnated. It doesn't have, it doesn't feel like it progresses anything or add, uh, adds anything. It's too safe, doesn't play it up well. The Carrie reference was good, but then again, any reference to that movie is also a lot of fun in, in this co- universe of pastel color horses. Uh, but yeah, I, I I wouldn't reread this one. Not not feeling it. Not feeling it for this one. Not at all. So yeah, that's those are my final thoughts. But but could I'm be on be the cover. Could, could be better. Need to improve. Comic. Two out of ten. See me after class. Wow, that bad. But I'm on the comic. <laughs> I'm totally on it. Next to the Rainbow that's, Dash recolor. That, that's why it has a two out of ten. Wait. One because of the <laughs> carry scene and one because of Sapphire's cameo. Actually, no. Wait. Actually, no. It can't be me because the colors are reversed and the eyes are blue. Oh, wait, wait. Now I know what happened to the blue and the violet for the rainbow. They used it all up on the cover. Curse you, Sapphire! <laughs> uh, but that's so not me! It's an impersonator! It's your fault. It's, it's your an fault. impersonator. Look! No, shut up. We're already preparing the, we're already preparing the pyre for the witch. <laughs> No! Wow. Anyway. Wait, I became Inkros? <sighs> anyway. Oh crap, they're going to burn me. Hide me! Anyway, on my end, I like this comic. I do like the story that it presents. I, I do like how uh, insecure Fatishai feels here. Like, people who are like Fatishai growing up in school uh, goes through this, and I'm one of them. Uh, granted, I don't have a friend who is awesome, but I do feel that every time when I meet an old friend from high school, it just reminds me of, yeah, I'm not the same as before. And I don't like them. And when they kind of change now, it's like, I still don't like you, but you've gotten better. And I don't like you. But looking at this comic and how it ends, I like it. It's very heartwarming and heart touching other than that besides the derp on the rainbows and the slow pacing in the middle and near the beginning and the middle it's yes okay i would i wouldn't recommend it but i would just say if you want to go read it read it well that's the review and i think that's about it right well that it is <laughs> yeah let's that how about is. we move on to rarity and the cakes ah yes rarity best pony yes that will be on next week's review um my little pony next french week. yeah next week review we, Aww, don't break the illusion I so much on. don't break the illusion anyway <laughs> uh we'll catch you guys next week with another mbs show reviews so i have been Norman sanzo I have been an angry Spanish person. I continue to be a Fluttershy fan. Good for you! (laughs) And I need to go kill somebody who is impersonating me. And we'll guys see you next week. See ya! Goodbye. Adios. Let me go murder a- That's not a word! Wow! (laughs) Yeah, high quality reviews. That's what we do. Yeah, we hit, we end the episode with murder. That's not a word. That's professionality. <laughs>